Hey guys, it is still vlog week two and now it is day four. We have finished part one of the milestone, which was to get a working video of the servo motor and to also accompany it with a Arduino IDE sketch, which I have that uploaded. And now we are working on the second part of milestone two and which is to get a working video of this ultrasonic sensor and to accompany it with the proper code, which is what we're going to be working on for day four and five. So today I am going to be researching and hopefully put together, hopefully put together the, um, the circuit board and the breadboard with the ultrasonic sensor, get all the wiring set up and I'll get started on that. So yeah. Searching. And I found a diagram again, like I found for the servo motor. I found one of how to hook up the ultrasonic sensor. And I also found a parts list, which I found all the parts and I followed the best I could with the description and the ultrasonic sensor diagram given. I plugged it in the best I could. Here's what I came up with. And um, yeah, so basically I needed a bunch of hookup wires. I hooked them from where the breadboard is, where the um, ultrasonic sensor is, I hooked it from there, and then I hooked up another row of four of them um, to the negative and positives, and then the middle two to nine and 10. And then I hooked up the ends, the positive and negative, with the 5V, with the 5V, and then the, then the 6ND, I did that again, and yeah. And so now what we have to do after this is I have it all hooked up now, have it hooked up to the computer. It's not really doing anything right now. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but um, the next thing to do is to code it. So yeah, here is the code I found. I will be uploading that for the ultrasonic sensor. Everything is loaded up and I've been monitoring distance right there. So yep, it works and happy about that so this recaps all of our vlog week two and all of our milestone parts are done so yep 